Hello everybody, welcome back to Investing Beginners. Hope you've all had a great week and hope you'll have a good weekend in store as well. Uh, just be a video today, basically, I've come into a little bit of money this week, so I've reinvested it into my free trade portfolio and I've bought a few more stocks, including two new ones, which I'm happy to talk about with you. So I'll be doing a update as usual. I know it's not long since I've done my last one, but here it goes on here. So I'll just log into my uh, free trade account with you now. So as you can see, it currently stands at £2,628.55. You can see over the last seven days, it's obviously gone up with the money that I've invested. The last month, obviously, I've had two rounds of investment this month, which I don't usually do, so that's quite good. And there's the uh, maximum, as you can see, all the rises overall with the growth and all the money I've been putting in. So I'll start first with Verizon bit up and down over this month down around about one percent i'd say but maximum probably up 20 percent i own seven shares current value 315 pounds with an average price of 45 pounds and 91 pence yeah down 1.89 percent on my investment six pound i haven't bought any more shares of these recently and then the next on the list we have AT&C who over the last month have been up 5% and now currently stand around 1%. I have 12 shares of AT&T, current value £313.14 with an average price of £24.92, up 4.72%. And next we have Coca-Cola on the list this month. Been a bit up and down. I own seven shares of Coke. Average price £36.96. pence, Up 10% on these. Or £27. And then next on the list we have Abvi. These have been a bit down. But down 12% at the moment. I own five shares of Abvi. Average price of £58.33, pence down currently 6.5% on 19 pounds 13 I should have probably bought some more of these as they're quite a low point at the moment, but I had my eyes on two new stocks, which I'll go through with you shortly. And then next we have Ford. I've uh, recently just bought another 10 shares of Ford. So they're up around 2% this month. I now own 24 shares of Ford with an average price of £8.12, up around 0.29%. As you can see there, my 10 shares purchased yesterday for £82. Next on the list we have is Colgate. I currently own 3 shares of Colgate, average price of £57.72, up around 35 pence. And the next, the first one of the new stocks I have purchased is I purchased two shares of Starbucks this month up around 8% and in the year up a massive 80%. So obviously I do like to purchase companies that I tend to like either use or buy products from and I am partial to liking a coffee. So Starbucks, I own two shares, average price of £72.92 pence down two pounds six pence on that investment then next on the list we have is imperial brands currently up 16 percent this month as they've uh, obviously been doing the buyback shares if you don't know what that is that's where they sort of buy imperial brands will be buying buying out shares which then obviously ups the um, price of the sh of the shares so that's why that has risen. So I'm up seven pounds. I own six shares. Average average price of twenty two pounds twenty pence. The next Royal Dutch Shell, I, I bought two shares of these as well yesterday, for fifty pounds and ninety six pence. I own five shares now with an average price of twenty five pounds and four pence, up one point three nine percent or one pound seventy four. So that is a Royal Dutch Shell. 
Next on the list is the second new stock that I've purchased is a uh, Microsoft. I've been wanting to get these for a little while now, but I'm going to try and be a bit more diversified and buy a few more newer stocks now, and also adding the occasional shares to the ones I own. But Microsoft, yeah, obviously a billion dollar company. I own an Xbox as well, which, like I said before, I do like to own companies that I do tend to use the products for. So one share, average price £111.51, it's down 2.5%. And there you can see the share I bought yesterday. That's Microsoft. I will be adding more of these in the future. So keep a look out for that one. Then next on the list, we have Johnson & Johnson, who have um, down 8% this month, which... I can see that as a good buying opportunity. So hopefully next week when I do my usual monthly investing, I can purchase a couple more of these. I know one share, average price of £105.04. It's down 1.22% at the moment. And then we have Johnson & Johnson. Next on the list is US Corporate Bond. I do quite like these. It's the only bond that I own in my portfolio, but it's up 1.8%. I own two shares, average price of £42.08, up 2.77%. Also, I do like these because they pay a monthly dividend as well, which is always nice. Next on the list we have is Barrett, who are looking quite strong at the moment, up 12% this month. I own 11 shares, sorry, um, average price of £5.93, up 6.82% on my investment. There's, there's Barrett, you can see the ones that I've bought in the past. Next on the list with Avira, the insurance company. Up around 1% this month. I have currently on 14 shares in the portfolio. Average price of £4.12, up 1.85%. Next on the portfolio list is BP, gas and oil company. Down 6% this month. But I currently own 10 shares, average price of £5.52, down 6% at the moment. Next on the portfolio list is Bank of America. It's up 4% this month. I own two shares of this company, average price of £21.96, up 6.6%. Next, another banking company is Wells Fargo. Up around 0.5% this month. I own one share. Average price of £35.88. Next is we have National Grid. Down around 1% for the month. Electric Gas and Utilities Company. I own three shares with an average price of £8.22. And my, my actual investment is up around 1.35%. Next on the list we have is Taylor Wimpy, who are up around 6% this month. I own 14 shares with the average price of £1.81. My current my investment is currently down around about 8% or £2.16. Then next on the list we have is Lloyd's, down 2.8% for the month. I also recently purchased 6 shares yesterday, but... 39 shares are currently on now, average price of 62 pence, and it's down 8% on my investments. Next we up we have is commercial property, up around 4% for the month. I own 16 shares with the average share price of £1.18, and it's down on my investment 1.53%. And then last on my portfolio list is Vodafone. I do think these are very undervalued at the moment. Up around 1% for the month. I do think when 5G kicks in properly, this the share price will skyrocket. So I'm probably going to buy a few more of these in my next round of investing. I own five shares currently with an average price of £1.35, down 3.79% or 25 pence on my investments. So yeah, that's it for the portfolio update today, guys. It currently stands at two thousand six hundred twenty-eight pence, so twenty-eight pound fifty-five pence. Sorry, 
But yeah, it's looking good at the moment. I think next month I will be due quite a few dividends. Of probably around maybe twenty to thirty pounds. But I'm gonna start doing more dividend updates as the more I receive. So that'll be a different channel, a different playlist to look out for. Sorry, on my YouTube channel. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoy your weekends and happy investing. But also, could you like the video and subscribe to my channel, please? I would be much appreciated. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy. Bye.